What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to give you an overview of the Zulip platform and its features. Zulip is a great platform that you can use to communicate with your colleagues or chat you with your team members uh, online. So it's basically like Slack if you uh, know what Slack is. It's basically in essence uh, a Slack alternative. However, it has uh, really cool features that you can use to better organize your uh, team chat. So here, let's go to the uh, platform, which is zulip.com. And if you scroll down, you can find some like key features and some screenshots of the platform here. And they say it's like for business, uh, you, it's open source, you can use it for education, for research and so on. Um, here you can use Zulip online in the browser or you can download it. So if you click on download here, you can see that you can download Zulip for Windows here uh, or you can download it from the Microsoft Store. And if you scroll down, you can find uh, the Zulip uh, apps for each of these platforms. Okay, now let's go and create an account for us. But first, let's take a look at the uh, pricing. You can use the free version. You can use uh, Zulip absolutely free. However, there are some limitations like 10,000 messages of search history. You can get a file storage of up to five gigabytes and so on. And for 667 per month billed annually, you can upgrade to the standard uh, subscription where you get unlimited search history up to 10 gigabytes per user and some other features. Now let's create our account. You want to go here to a new organization, click on it. You can here enter the organization name. So let's enter how to simple. Okay. The organization type, um, you can choose anything. So let's go for business. The organization URL, so how to simple dot zulipchat.com so you, they give you URL for your organization account or your account your email and then click on create organization they tell you here to confirm your email so I'll go to my my mailbox to uh, confirm my email and once you confirm your email you'll have to enter your full name the password to cr completely uh, create your account so I'll enter it and then uh, uh, finish uh, signing up and once I complete the sign up process I'll be redirected to my account and here is my main dashboard so here on the left you have all messages you have recent conversations you have mentions start messages and you have the drafts and here you have your streams so streams are like channels in uh, slack you can view your streams here once I create my account I have the uh, core team and I have the general you can here get some like pop-ups to uh, show you what to do. Okay, got it. So here, let's view the general stream. Here you have the general stream and uh, it's uh, here uh, says that it is general. And you have here two topics in each stream. You can uh, organize your uh, messages by topics, which are a pretty cool way to uh, further organize your messages. And your chats so here I have two topics the uh, topic demonstration and swimming turtles and the topics here are shown here you can click on a certain topic to view the messages only messages related to uh, this topic so here you can view the two topics and you have the core teams uh, you have the core team uh, like stream here which is a private stream the journal is a public one and here you can view the messages and you can click here to enter the message here. So like this is a test message. Okay. And in each message, you uh, can choose which stream that this message, this message will be posted to. You can also uh, choose it as a direct message to another member. You can hear private streams and you can add a new topic or select a new topic. And here in the message, you can select the formatting. You can upload a file. You can add like on LG call, video call, emoji, and you can make it bold, italic and add a link and so on. So let's send the message here. And this message is sent as you see. And here you can filter uh, these streams by name. You can search for them. 
and you can add a new stream here. So if I click on add stream, you can select browse streams or create a stream. So if we create a new stream, you can here view your current streams here. You can add the stream name is like uh, video editing. You can enter the stream subscription uh, description and you can choose the stream permissions. So you can make it public. You can make it a private with a shared history. So new members can view the history and you can make it private with protected history. So can a new subscribers or members can only see the messages sent after they joined. They cannot see the past messages. Who can post on this stream? Everyone or admins, admins and moderators and admins only. And who can unsubscribe others like admins and so on. So uh, here uh, the message retention period. You can upgrade to view it and you can choose subscribers and you can add subscribers in bulk to uh, from another stream. So hashtag the stream name to add in bulk uh, or you can uh, add or remove subscribers here. So let's create uh, this stream. Here the stream is uh, created. As you can see, you have uh, the uh, options that you uh, entered. You can edit them, you can delete them. So let's close it for now. Here you can here view the video editing stream and you can post messages to it. So like, hello. Okay, and you can send. And here you can uh, like, uh, you go to the uh, tab at the bottom, you can create a new topic within this stream. So a new topic, which is like, um, let's say Canva in the video editing. Okay. And let's say we need to create a Canva tutorial and then click send here. It'll be sent here and it will be marked with the topic here. That's Canva and the topics here will uh, automatically appear. Uh, right underneath the stream. So in the video editing, you have Canva and you have stream events. If you click on Canva, you will see only messages regarding this topic. And when you enter a new message, you can choose here the topic itself. So let's click on a new, let's click a new topic. So to show you uh, how it will look with many topics. So like um, we can say um, Premiere Pro. So let's add a message. Uh, so like uh, need tutorial. Okay, let's click send. And here you have the new uh, like uh, topic here, it's added. If we click on it, we can view the messages. So uh, if we click on video editing, and um, the stream itself, you can view all the messages in the stream. And you can click on the message, the new message. And uh, here you can, if we click on the topic, you can uh, see Premiere Pro. If you click on this arrow here, the message you can view the messages related to this topic. And in the video editing, you can click to uh, choose the stream here. Okay, so looking good. Now, here uh, on the right, you have your uh, account. You can see who are, is active and who's not, and you can invite more users to join your uh, space. And here you have your uh, settings, your main menu. So if we click on it, you can view your settings. So you can manage your streams, you have personal settings, organization settings, usage statistics and help center and so on. So um, you can view all your settings. So if we click on it here, if you click on your name, you can uh, add a direct message to yourself. Or if you click on any user here, you can send them a direct message. So uh, here, this was like a quick overview of the Zulip uh, platform and its different features.